This species of stick insect is called the Malaysian jungle nymph. There are thousands of different species. Uh, this is quite a spectacular uh, species. Its uh, scientific name is uh, Heteropteryx dilatata. Um, this is a, um, a young female. Uh, when they're younger, they're brown. This one is alive. A lot of stick insects, when you handle them, they, they play dead. Um, and then as they shed their skin, when they get the, uh, approach adulthood, uh, this, this, the females turn green. I'm sorry I don't have a male to show you. The males are amazingly different. Uh, they're, much, uh, they're smaller, thinner, and uh, they can fly. They have fully functional uh, wings, uh, pink in colour. The, the females uh, are much larger and heavier. Uh, they do have wings, but uh, they're non-functional. Uh, here's one of their eggs. I don't know if you can see that. Nearly dropped it. Uh, if you can see that there's a, a lid on one end. Um, this species, uh, if you provide a pot of soil, they will bury the eggs in the ground. Um, I think the only drawback with this spectacular uh, species is that you do have to be incredibly patient waiting for the eggs to hatch. They can take over a year to hatch. Um, with this species I do collect the eggs and I put them in a pot of soil with the lid facing upwards, uh, date it and then um, occasionally spray it with water uh, and wait over a year but even after a year don't give up on them I've had some of these eggs hatch after 14 months uh, here's an adult she's quite old now I think she must be nearly two years old I don't think she's got much longer to go uh, when they're younger they're, they can be very cranky she's still a bit cranky even now they're harmless but they can kick you and they can make a hissing sound by squeezing their wings together. As you can see, if I can try and get her settled, she'll settle down in a minute. There we are. Uh, it's a spectacular species, probably one of the biggest insects in the world. Um, you can see the, the wings there, as I said, they're non-functional. Um, she's much too heavy to fly. Uh, but I think, as you can see, they do look incredibly like leaves, and I, I think that they help her camouflage. This species of stick insect must be one of the easiest to keep. Um, it's commonly known as the Thailand stick insect, uh, but there are thousands of species of stick insect, and I've seen four or five different species all called Thailand stick insect. Uh, its scientific name, it used to be known as Baculum Thai, um, there seems to be a bit of a rethink. Uh, it, it's now known as Ramulus tie. Um, I've had kept this species from a uh, original stock for about 30 years now. Um, like most stick insects, they, they live about a year or so. Uh, the only problem I've had with them is occasionally I've had uh, been a bit embarrassed because I've got too many. Uh, the reason I like them is that they are bramble feeders, blackberry bush leaves, which is uh, free and grows everywhere. Um, the reproduction is sexual, so they have males and females. Uh, there are some stick insects that reproduce by parthenogenesis. There are no males, and that's a very, quite difficult thing to explain in primary schools. Um, you do have to be a little careful handling them. Uh, many stick insects, when they're disturbed, they will actually, as you've just seen, throw themselves on the ground. Uh, if you're not careful, they will actually detach a leg as well. They will survive that, but obviously we don't want that to happen. So I'm being very careful here. This one now is um, playing dead, acting dead. It's called death feigning. They just freeze. But she will, this is a female, she will come round in a second or two if I'm extremely careful. No, she's not going to play. Oh, let's be, as I said, you do have to be patient with these. They will actually settle down. There we are. 
Uh, both the males and the females are uh, flightless, they do not have wings, which is um, another advantage in my book. Um, when they're young, they're green, and when they uh, become adults, they shed their last skin, they, they turn brown. Um, I've got a young one here. Well, let's show you an egg while I'm, while I'm at it. The eggs, even the eggs are camouflaged to not look like an egg. But if you look at it with a magnifying glass, you will see that at one end there is a lid. Um, I used to collect them um, for, for hatching. Now I don't even bother to do that. I just leave them at the bottom of the cage and uh, they hatch by themselves. Uh, this species just drops the egg loose. Uh, they don't uh, actively hide them or bury them. Um, I've got a, a young one in here. It's probably going to be quite difficult to see on the camera. Uh, it's not playing ball. Let's try and pick it up. There we go. It's on my fingertip there. Can you see that? I think that's probably a young female. Probably um, a few weeks old. So as I said, very easy species to keep. They don't require any special heating if they're kept in a typical indoor environment. Um, I spray them with water every other day. And as long as they've got bramble to eat, you really can't go wrong with this species. Um, she's fine. Let me just show you a male. Very easy to tell the difference between males and females. The males are much thinner, as you can see, very thin. That's an adult male. Quite often we've stick insects that the females are larger than the males. So uh, that's Ramulus tide, a Thailand stick insect. Um, if you're a beginner at keeping stick insects, uh, I can't recommend this one too much. This species of stick insect is called the Thorny Devil or the Giant Spiny Stick Insect. Um, as I said before, you do have to be careful with uh, common English names for stick insects because there are uh, many thousands of species and some of them uh, the, the same name is used for more than one species. Uh, I always try and learn the scientific name. This one is called Euricantha calcarata. It, uh, it comes from uh, New Guinea, New Caledonia, Solomon Islands near Australia. Uh, this is an adult female. Uh, it's got an egg laying tube, an ovipositor. Uh, the eggs. I'll try and find an egg here if I can pick one up. Here we are. I don't know if you can see that to my fingers. There's one of their eggs. There is a lid at one end. Um, so in their cage, um, I make sure there's pots of soil and uh, they will actually stick their abdomen into the soil and bury the eggs. Um, I tend now to leave the egg pots in the cage. The eggs take um, roughly about five, six months to hatch. Got some young ones here. This one's probably um, a few months old. Um, and as they grow, the colour changes to this dark brown colour. Um, I do let children hold them, but I always warn them that their feet are very, very uh, sticky. As you can see, this is one animal where I'm not worried about them being dropped. They're almost impossible to drop. Um, very young children may panic because, uh, as I say, they do really stick, stick to your skin. Very nocturnal species, in their cage I give them plenty of cover to hide under. During the day I've got about, well I've got about 30 in a cage and during the day you, you don't see any of them because they're all hiding up. Um, it reproduces sexually, there are males and females. I'll just show you a male, both, both sexes are flightless. Here's a male. As you obviously doesn't have an egg laying tube, so fairly easy to tell the difference. Um, I don't know if you can see, can you see that spike coming out the back of its leg? Uh, I have heard it say that some people manage to get their finger caught in there 
and uh, they get pricked by that spike. Uh, I've never had any problems, but just be aware that it is there. Um, so that's Uricant for calcarata. Uh, very fairly easy species to keep. Um, I've been keeping these for about 15 years now. Another species of stick insect that I keep here uh, is called the Peruvian Black Beauty. Uh, it was discovered f relatively recently, about 15 years ago. Um, its scientific name is uh, Perufasma schultii. And as you probably guessed, it comes from Peru. Remarkably, a very small area in Peru, only about five hectares. Um, it's got this beautiful black velvety skin. This is a female, adult female. Uh, it reproduces sexually, there are males and females. Both sexes are flightless. They do have these vestigial wings, and uh, when they get excited or stressed, they can flash the wings and there's a, a, a red scarlet red color underneath as a as a warning display um, they are quite fast moving so you do have to be careful holding them uh, i just warn if i'm going to uh, allow children to hold them i just warn them that they can be quite fast um, they feed on uh, privet very common plant uh, uh, in gardens used for hedging. Um, we've got a pair here, if I turn this round. Uh, one of their characteristics is that they seem to mate for days on end. Uh, we've got a male and a female here. I don't know if you can see them. The males, are, as usual with sticky insects, are smaller. I feel a bit guilty disturbing them. There we go, and if you can see the female with the male on her back. Let's put them put them back. Oh, I think there we go. Um, the eggs are fairly small, but not not too bad. I don't know if you can see that in my fingertips. Um, I do collect them, and I put them in a um, a pot of soil which I keep damp. Um, haven't been keeping these for too long. I'm not quite sure how long the eggs take to hatch. I, I don't think they're too long. Um, probably um, several months. So that's the Peruvian Black Beauty stick insect. Every year I attend the Amateur Entomological Society show held at Kempton Park Racecourse in October. And uh, this year I bought some... Um, uh, some young stick insects. They were about they were about that long. It's a species that I hadn't seen before. Um, it's sometimes known as the Vietnam stick insect, uh, but there are several species that are called Vietnamese stick insects. Its scientific name it is impossible really. I'm going to have a go at pronouncing that. Tyracoidea janfanglingensis. What a mouthful. Um, well. This was in October. Uh, little did I know what they what they're going to grow into. Um, don't know too much about them. Uh, this is a female. It looks like the females do not have wings. I don't know if you can see, but behind her is a male. I'll show you him in a minute. And. I think she's fully grown. They may even get bigger. What a spectacular stick insect. Uh, the camouflage is absolutely amazing. Uh, haven't had any eggs yet. As you can see they're uh, bramble feeders. Um, the, the only problem I've had is, well I, I think my stick insect cages are quite large. But I think I'm going to have to build some even larger cages for these. Uh, I'm going to gently put her back and show you a male 
this has only just recently reached its final stage where, it's at, where you can see its wings. I've no idea how active flyers they are. I'll try and persuade it onto my hand. There we go. You can see its wings are folded up on its back there. Spectacular creatures. And just to show you the colour variation, I think this must be a sub adult female. You can see it's green. Perhaps when it sheds its final skin, it will turn brown like the others. So um, look out for this species, uh, an amazing sight, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting some eggs from them so that I can, I can keep them going. So that's the uh, Vietnamese stick insect, Tyracoidea, Jane Fanglin, Gensis. I must keep practicing saying that name.